going to be using my favourite foundation, which is Tarte's Amazonian Clay Foundation. Next up, I'm just going to conceal my blemishes and my under eye circles so that I have a nice clean base to then start with the rest of my makeup. I'm using Muir Pro Base Conceal and Brighten Kit with the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. Once that's done, I'm now going to start on my um, eyeshadow look, which I will be using Black Velvet Palette by Makeup Revolution. Full of gorgeous colours um, that you can wear every day, um, from blacks to charcoals to, there's three gorgeous metallics, which is this one, this one, and this one. But today I'm going for a greyish smoky eye. So to start off with, I will be using a black colour here with a small brush, which is from a set that I got ages ago. Just use that for the crease so that it's nice and defined. It looks a bit dark, but once you like shade it all in with some grey and some silver, it's going to look great. Now I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Bold Metals 201 Pointed Crease Brush. Just going to use this shade here, which is the grey. If the around the edges look a bit messy at first, once you neaten it all up with your finger or a custom bud at the end, it will look fine and it will look perfect. Next up, I am going to be using my Real Techniques shading brush, which I really like. This is the perfect brush to be used with Kiko's um, Colour Sphere eyeshadow, which I'm using in the shade 40. It's a really, really lovely eyeshadow, full of pigment, full of glitter, and it looks great with a grey smoky eye. And then I'm just going to cover the entire eyelid, paying particular attention to my inner corners. Then to add more definition, you can use a coal liner or a liquid. I prefer using coal as it's easily blendable. You can just blend it in again so that you have a more defined and smouldery, smoky eye. The eyeliner I'm going to be using is Soap and Glory Smolder Coal. you have the perfect smoky eye and then just to complete this look I'm just going to add a bit of my favourite mascara just a couple of lips of this which is Volume Million Lashes So Couture by L'Oreal as you can see the mascara just really defines the eye and already it's already defined enough but if you just want that extra little kick just a couple of lips of mascara will really like give it a punch as you can see it's like a timeless smoky eye with just added bits of metallic and that kiko um color sphere eyeshadow is perfect for just bringing it down because when you have a black cut crease you don't really want to go for a full black lid because it can look a bit um, bold, like too bold, but that really does just bring it down a touch and make it look more soft. Once again, I'm just using my Pro Base um, Conceal and Brighten Kit by Muir and my Pointed Foundation Brush by Real Techniques. Now to complete the eye area look, I'm just going to be doing my eyebrows. Um, eyebrows really do shape the face and I highly recommend shading in eyebrows. I used to do mine far too dark, far too close together, but I prefer doing them a bit more subtle now. And for this, I shall be using Be Groomed Eyebrow Kit and it's this is available in Superdrop. your um, face base I'm just going to use MAC mineralized skin finish natural in medium with a real techniques powder brush if you know me I love a bit of contouring I have quite good cheekbones anyway but I use my real techniques 301 flat contour brush just to define it a touch more 
So at the moment I've been loving this amazing contour kit by Makeup Revolution. This is their iconic blush, bronze and brighten smolder palette. And it's a really good palette. It's got all the key ingredients to get the perfect contour blush and highlight. So I'm just going to dabble this brush in my contour colour which is the brown. And then contour. <laughs> Then once that is done, you just add a touch of highlighter. And my favourite highlighter at the moment is Undress Your Skin by Muir. It's a really great highlighter. It's a gorgeous pinky tone. I don't really like the white coloured um, highlighters as I think they make your skin look a bit too shinier. I know contouring is, and highlighting is supposed to make your skin shinier, but the white just makes it look a little bit more plastic, if that makes sense. <music> I have used my contour brush from Royal Techniques, but since I got my flat contour in their bold metals range, I use that for highlighting. Then lastly for the contour, I am going to be using this gorgeous pink blush from the same um, contour palette that I used the contour from. I'm just going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and elongating it up. Once you're happy with that, you can just grab your Royal Techniques buffing brush, which I really like just to finish off the face and buff away. just done my hair and I've just got dressed and now I am just about to apply my lip liner and then my lipstick that's the lip liner done and that was Muir intense color lip liner in red drama now for the actual lipstick which is L'Oreal's Colorish 416 which is creme de rouge scarlet creme And there you have the perfect red lip. I really like this lipstick because it stays on pretty much all day. You might just have to reapply it after you've eaten or had a drink. But otherwise it's great. So yeah, I'm just about to go and shoot a um, blog post now in my new coat from River Island. Which you will see shortly on the Perks of Molly Quirk. And yeah, so I will see you very soon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I shall see you very soon with another video, which will probably be a collective haul, which, um, like, things I've bought over these holidays and things like that. So thank you for watching, and I hope you've had a lovely Easter, and I will see you soon. So thanks, goodbye. <laughs>